Where are you going? Um, I'll, I'll give the YouTube thing a go. Uh, channel, Tommy's Chop Shop. Um, the whole idea behind it is to just stuff around with old cars and all right, see how projects come up. Um, current project I'm part way through, it's a, an old Morris Oxford. Um, some bloke built it years ago, um, in the 80s or 90s or something. Um, it was part of the Dry Lakes Association, so he built it to go um, salt racing. Um, so it's already had quite a quite a bit of work done to it. Um, you know, it's got a, a Holden in line six in it. Um, Holden suspension, Holden diff, Holden transmission. Um, I got it. The interior was gutted. Um, it, it has everything in it that it, it needs to drive, and that's it. Um, which I like for a hot rod. That's ideal. Um, doesn't need anything special in it. Um, and I drove it around for a while. It, I daily it for a little while. Um, then I've always had a bit of a fetish for Morris Miners. Um, and the Oxford is just essentially is just a bigger Morris Miner. Um, basically a full size car compared to minor so I've always wanted to turn one into a coupe so that's what I've done um, or am doing um, so yeah we'll get some videos going of me turning that into a three window um, as well as gathering ideas and potential new projects um, scavenging parts for for my one yeah it's a bit of a learning curve to me it's my first full build I've done bits and pieces before you know, rust repairs and playing around with engines and shit like that but um, it is to be the first full custom build um, not really going for a traditional hot rod or anything like that, um, or any anything specific. I am aiming for sort of a 50s era uh, custom. Um, somewhat. But yeah, I'm going to do everything myself. Uh, so all the body work, wiring, um, hopefully I'm not good at wiring, so we'll see about that, but um, all the interior, everything, going to do all that myself, uh, yeah, there's really not much else to it, just going to build a car, see where it goes, um, hoping to have it done, hopefully by... No, we'll just go the end of the year. It's the end of January right now, so hopefully the end of the year we'll have it done. Um, I want to get it to Port Ferry for the rod run. Um, it's my old man after years and years of nagging is finally taking his car. Um, so I want to get mine there so we can both go. Hopefully it won't take that long to put it all together though, it's just a little bit of cut and welding. Um, but yeah, I'll throw some shots in of the car and give a rundown of what I've done so far and what I am planning on doing. And uh, we'll go from there. And, um, it's already become a long intro, so I'll leave it at that, obviously first video new at this thing um yeah so anyways here she is um yeah 
unsure if I'm going to use these yet or not. I think they're the 50s Ford. Um, or if I'm just going to use stocks arounds and maybe French them, I don't know yet. Um, as you can see, the front end has been extended a lot in the rails to fit the Holden 6. Um, they're stock guards. That's how much they're going to be extended. Um, there's a lot of work involved. Um, still got to chop the roof. I did have it set up as a hard top, um, and then I didn't work on it for months. Got thinking, um, drew a couple of pictures on the computer of it as a three window. So I've since shortened the back quarter the back door skin um, even more so I can move the pillar back I've split the door um, I have like, four sets of doors so I can make a new skin for this one um, I've got that tacked up at the moment um, got some steel in there just so I can get the gap right um, yeah she's all Braced up, not going anywhere. The other side, I've, I haven't even got the pillar in yet. That's kind of just sitting there at the minute. Um, I did already extend that front door when it was a hard top because the pillar is right here, but I've since cut that out. Um, so I'm going to move it back to where this one is. Um, the inside of the roof structure in here is actually, it will sit just about on top of that. Um, so then it ties the whole roof structure back in to the B pillars which will now be the C pillars um, which is a good thing so I'm not, not having to stuff around trying to brace up the body or nothing like that um, which I'm still going to have to do anyway but not as extensively as if I was to run it as a hard top because I would have had to obviously triangulate the uh, the pillars, the bottoms of the pillars into the floor, uh, work out where they're going to be the strongest, and uh, yeah, so there's a bit of stuff around in that anyway. Um, so, this doing it the way I'm doing it now will be stronger overall, um, and also should look cooler. Um, but I'll, I'll add some photos in. Uh, so you can see what I'm, what I'm getting at. Um, yeah, there's nothing in here really. It's just dashed, couple of gauges, couple of lights. I am thinking about filling in the center section um, and then finding a, a different dash fascia for the driver's side because these only had gauges in the middle from factory. Um, if I can find something nice, 50s style, um, and I'll, I'll chop up the dash as well and weld that in. Um, I'm thinking like old Chev or something like that. Uh, 40 Chev, they had the like a, a dash, it was like a, a straight across like this, um, just with a couple of idiot lights in it and the, the speedo the fuel gauge. Um, and then obviously I'll just run a couple of gauges down lower just so I can see them but they're kind of out of sight from the outside of the car um, yeah I've got, I've got the bench seat um, to go in it don't know if I'm going to recover it or just throw a blanket over it but um, yeah the inside of it is I'm undecided on either red or brown but the idea is to find distressed leather or distressed vinyl and cover it, recover everything all myself, do the roof liner, door trims, everything. Um, the idea is to not make it like a, a show car or spot on or whatever, whatever. it's uh, more to go for like a survivor type car but also keep it somewhat factory looking like the factory could have made it. So then that way it, uh, it will confuse a lot of people. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I've 
I've already started all of this and now I've kind of got to undo what I've already done, which I've already started doing. I've already cut the back of the roof out again and um, obviously I've got to extend the catwalk because the back of the roof's going forward, you know. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. It's all good fun. Um, I don't know what else there is to say. Yeah, I'll add some photos of what it was like before and during, and obviously we're seeing it now. Um, the whole idea behind it was, uh, you know, I wanted a custom car, I'm not made of money. Um, trying to get out of this thing under five grand, the whole build, um, and that's doing everything myself with what I've got really, not really buying anything for it. Um, so as you can see, it's a little bit rough. I'm no metal worker, there's just a couple of pinholes I've got to fill up. Well, I've already filled up. I haven't really uh, finished the back window yet, but I'll finish all of that once it's through so where I want it. Um, for now, it's all braced. It's not going anywhere anyway. Um, yeah, but, you know, I'm not using any special tools, it's all hand tools, um, you know, I've got a couple of hammer and dollies, grinder, welder, not even a good welder, I sold my good welder, we needed the money, so I'm using a, a flux core to do everything, um, you know, they cop a bad rap, but they're actually really not too bad. I mean, if you know know how to use them on sheet metal, they're not bad at all. It's all they cop a bad rap because they blow holes and fuck all adjustment in them and all that kind of stuff. But you know, it is what it is. Um, you gotta work with what you got. You know, and when you clean it all up, you know, it's no different to a normal roller. Um, you know, does the same job, so the same purpose, it's just there's a little bit more clean up involved at the end because they come out looking fucking ugly. Um, but yeah, other than that, there's not much more to say. There, I'm you know, working in a tiny little garage, um, no money, working with what I've got. Um, and any project after this will be done exactly the same. I'm not into spending a lot of money. I like to collect bits, make bits. Um, and really that's that's what it's all about. It's all about having fun with it and working out what you can do. It's no point spending a hundred grand building something, you know, and then be scared to take it out and scratch it or break it or whatever. I mean, if this breaks, just bring it home and fix it get scratched so be it doesn't matter but yeah um you can blame covid for this because uh you know I'm, second time i've owned this car i brought it sold it needed the money i think um i don't know i'm catching covid after i brought it back and then it started watching a bit of uh bad chad and uh DD Speed Shop and watching them cut shit up and especially DD Speed Shop where he's making coops um, which you know Trot 5 Chevs already came out as coops he was just turning a four door into a coop I mean whatever but this is a bit different these never come out as coops so I can't really get parts if I fuck it up or anything like that I want to make everything and uh yeah, but had time to think about it and I wasn't driving it at the time. And uh, yeah, watched too many of their videos and they rubbed off on me. But, you know, that's fun and I don't mind doing it. So, yeah, we'll get it done.